Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to our podcast, Showgirls. Looks good by me, Ari, and me, boy, Ashley. Yeah, let's go. I feel like I'm very consistent on how I open the show. I feel like you are not very consistent on how we open the show. That's how I'm feeling that day. Sugar plum. Oh, please don't call me that. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. So today we're going to talk about two movies. Mostly because they are now on Netflix, which is wild. We're going to talk about The Wolf on Wall Street. And then we're also going to talk about Don't Worry Darling. Because that movie is wild. Both of them are wild in their very wildish ways. First, we're going to start with The Wolf on Wall Street. I mean, I have my turn. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Your wife left you? Pick up the phone and start dialing. Imagine how I felt when Chris Evans actually got married. I was like, I can't believe he got married. He actually got married. Ugh. He actually had got like he like he, they had a wedding. What well, like like a like a tiny little gathering. Yep, he got married. Ah. No. I'm I'm happy for him. I think we all should be happy for him. Yeah. You know, he's um he's finally finding love yep. that he's always wanted. Yep. <laughs> yep, for sure. <laughs> so happy for you, Chris. So happy for you. Oh, I just had to say he's that. banned from this podcast. What? Chris Evans is banned from this you podcast. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. If Chris Evans ever comes to this podcast, I have to talk to him. It's a must. I, I'm too upset. It's a must, though. Like, I love Chris. I don't love Chris Evans, but he's a great guy. You know who I want in this podcast? Who? And Aaron Taylor Johnson. I want him on this podcast so bad. Honorary member. Honorary member, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Love the man. Loved him as Lemon and Thingy My Bob and Bullet Train. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. OMG. That's it. That's it. OMG. <laughs> love Aaron Taylor Johnson. I'm going to get a shirt that says, I love Aaron Taylor Johnson. Th- that man's a king. He's a king. I don't know if he's American or British, but he's a king. He's and- some. He's something. He's a cougar lover. That's what he is. God, God. Don't don't attack him like that. Don't attack him like that. Takes the wasn't his choice. Older woman. Stop. Either that or Joey King, and I don't know which one's worse. (laughs) Joey King got married. No, but with all when all that came out about her and Aaron Taylor Johnson on the set of Bullet Train. Yo, everyone was going wild about it. That's why I was like, I don't think it was true though. You know which one's worse? I don't think it's true though. I don't think it's true either. Because Joy King is like, she was in a she's in a loving relationship, and she was in the loving relationship at that time too. Like she was, she but was it's Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, but she was engaged, so I don't think she would do that. But it's Aaron Taylor Johnson, and she's getting, and she literally just got married, so I don't think that actually. Um, but it's interesting. So you're telling me if you were in a loving relationship, <laughs> yeah, Taylor Johnson came up to you, you would be like, "Sorry, I'm in a committed loving relationship." It depends who I'm in a loving relationship with. A regular schmegular guy. Yeah. In comparison mm-hmm. to Aaron Taylor mm-hmm. Johnson, like the most regular <laughs> schmegular looking guy. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'll add on top that he's a goofy goober. <laughs> but what if Aaron Aaron Taylor Johnson is a goofy goober too? His goofy goober is not to the level of the goofy goober of your imaginary spouse. You're a terrible person. Oh, I also people. found out not a lot of people like Oscar Isaac. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Now a lot of people think he's that attractive as me do why i don't know i don't know I, I, that's, a that's a good question no like I'm not people cool. find josh groban attractive i 
<laughs> Listen. Oh my God. I think Josh Groban is a very talented man. Would I choose him over Oscar Isaac? Absolutely not. Would I choose anybody over Oscar Isaac? Absolutely not. So if Oscar Isaac, right? Yeah. And Pedro Pascal. <laughs> my answer is yes. For Oscar Isaac? My answer is yes. Not Pedro? My answer is yes. Okay. Well, I didn't even finish my prompt, but okay. Not not Oscar, though. I mean, not Pedro. You not said, Pe- all I heard was Oscar Isaac and Pedro Pascal, and that's a yes. No, no, no. Let me that's finish. Us? Triangle of love. Let's go. Between Pedro Pascal and Oscar Isaac, which one? Yes. You can only have one. You can either have the blue pill or the red pill. Yes. I'll take the purple one. Thank you. Yes. What? The purple one. Thank you. (laughs) There's no purple. Thank you. Next question. (laughs) There's no purple one, though. Next question. It's between Oscar Isaac and Pedro Pascal. Pick one. Between Oscar Isaac and Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Which one? Yes. Which one? I said yes. Which one? You can have both. You have to have one. Next question. You have to have one. Next question. Next question, please. Oscar Isaac. Uh-huh. Queen. Uh-huh. Evans. Oscar Isaac. Oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oscar Isaac between Christian Bale. Oscar Isaac. Oh. Uh, Christian Bale between Chris Evans? Christian Bale. Oh, okay. Okay. Josh Groban between Christian Bale. Josh Groban. Oh, okay. Okay. This is like a science experiment for me. <laughs> okay. Josh Groban between Aaron Tveit. Josh Groban. Josh Groban between Derek Klena. Josh Groban. Really? You said yeah. you liked Derek, Derek Klena. But I like Josh Groban more. Josh Groban between Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac, what is this question? Come on. Really? Oscar Isaac over everybody. You choose Oscar Isaac over Josh Groban? Yes. Okay, Sebastian Stan. Yes. Or Chris Evans. Sebastian Stan. I finally win. Yes! The moment I've been waiting for for years! Oh, man. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank the you. obvious option, I gotta say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so Sebastian Stan. Yeah. I mean, Anthony Mackey. Sebastian Stan. Okay. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Good thank choice. You. I'm very proud. I'm like a proud mama bear right now. I'm so proud. Thank you proud 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 is an understatement i am oki joso the t oh muchas gracias de nada also i found out a new way to eat my chipotle bowl this is also out of the movie but i feel like the whole world will know this you know when you order a bowl of chipotle the 20 people who like maybe watch this <laughs> you know you know you know when you order a bowl of chipotle yeah you can oh, buy the chips and dip it. So good. It adds crunch to the meal. And it's so good. That's actually really smart. I, I literally ate my Chipotle bowl like that today. And oh my god. I ate more than what I would eat it with the fork. It's actually really smart. See? My brain is working. Maybe. For the first time. Sorry. I don't know why that song just came to my head. Yeah. You don't? Yeah. No recuerdo. That's crazy. That's wild that you don't remember. Because you were literally there. No, I'm actually worried about my memory. <laughs> really? Yeah, like, it's hard for me to remember things that happened, like, ten minutes ago. Yo, stay. <laughs> That's so bad. Like, I don't even remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Is that, should that not be happening? I don't think so. Uh-oh. 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 
Oh, 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 oh. Moving on to the next movie. Whoa, whoa, yeah. yeah. Moving on to the next movie. Don't worry, darling. I didn't know they timed this. Yeah, they did. I told you. What did I tell you? I told For you. For everyone that doesn't know, we're on Zoom recording it. I didn't know they timed how long the meeting went. Yeah, they do. Because I do lessons. You only have 40 minutes for free. Really? Yeah. But I, my lessons go for an hour. Because he has Zoom Pro. Oh. Oh, that's wild. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, Florence Pugh killed it. I loved it. My question is, did Harry Styles like actually on Brad Pitt? Or did you like Florence Pugh? I just love Florence Pugh in general. Okay. Excellent. But also in the movie. So do you like the movie or Florence Pugh? Florence Pugh. Okay. There you go. Also, oh, I called him Brad Pitt, Chris Pine. They both look the same. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> Buddy. Yes, they do. Oh, your horse is there, bud. What? No, they don't. You don't think Brad Pitt and oh. Chris Pine look the same? No. I think they look the same. No. I think they look exactly. Come on! Come on! You're not telling me that's the same person! Look at them! That's the exact same person. Stop. They look the same. They look the same. They look the same. They look the same. And no one can tell me anything. A little bit. They look the same. He can be Brad Pitt's son. Who am I confusing it with? Brad Pitt. No, Brad Pitt and then... Chris Pine. There's Bradley Cooper. Bradley, oh, Cooper. Bradley Cooper looks nothing like Brad Pitt. Whatever. Drama. First of all, we got Harry Styles spitting on Chris Pine. That was crazy. Honestly, I like. I was literally looking. I was like, did he actually spit on him? And yeah, he did. He said... <laughs> Are Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles even dating anymore? No, they broke up. Yeah, that's what I thought. They broke up before the Venice Film Festival. Oh. So that's, that's why it was very awkward. That's awkward. Secondly, Florence Pugh and the Olivia Wilde situation. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Wild. Wild literally and figuratively. Literally wild. Like, uh, speechless. Me, personally, speechless. I cannot speak. That was crazy. And then I think everyone had a theory that Chris Pine was dating Olivia Wilde, which is why Harry Styles spit on him. Which, honestly, that while the, while I think Olivia Wilde was doing a press tour or something, uh, like a video resurfaced of Olivia Wilde receiving custody papers on stage of what of, for her kid for her kids oh that's not good and literally she, they were like it's like a movie for real they're like olivia and they were, she was like hold on grabs it looks at it and goes okay <laughs> i would say it again wild wild like her last name wild so I guess she wasn't acting in the movie. When she was going to lose her kids, she was for real. She was for real, for real. She's like, bye. How much is Zoom Pro? I'm so upset. That's so annoying. Zoom Pro. So if I'm poor, I can't have an hour? No. Only 40 minutes. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Zoom Shame. said if you can't get something done in 40 minutes, you Shame. didn't want it done in the first place. Shame. 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 Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Next time, I'm going to use Google Meet. Mm, I think we should just stick to Zoom. Mm -mm. But anyway, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing, beautiful day, or wherever you are. Um, I think I said that wrong. Have you an did. amazing, beautiful day.